I should have filmed this video a very long time ago because Wednesday and I got my hair cut on Saturday so yeah well that's the news I got my hair cut so now it's short and curly and they chopped a whole bunch off it now this is too long Drum. but yeah I'm just chilling in a bay it's nice and sunny and later today in two hours or so we're going to go and uh, do an overnight passage to Grand Canaria and then when we get to Grand Canaria we'll be in the bay for a bit for a few nights and then we'll go into the marina and that's what's up anyways um because we're doing the passage today and we're starting to provision and get ready for the Atlantic, uh, we stocked up on gas bottles and we are buying vegetables, canned vegetables and stuff like that. So I'll show you what we do to provision. So on the boat we have this fridge, we have one outside that doesn't really work but we call it our drinks fridge because we just keep all the drinks and juice and stuff like that now. And we have another one over there, which is a full freezer, except the top drawer. So we freeze everything in that one, and this one has a small freezer in here that we use for, like, ice molds or anything like that. And it's got a fruit drawer, just like a normal boat fridge, if you've ever seen one. So that's where all the cool stuff goes. But underneath all of these cushions, there's different... The uh, like cans. compartments, there's cans in that one, and a whole bunch of other packaged foods. And we've also got a whole lot more food in here, so it's pretty empty right now because we're stocking it still. But that's the food storage like places, and we've also got a few other little cupboards, like this one has a bit of stuff in it, and this one that's got all the breakfast stuff. And then we've also got that, which is our Yeti. We bought that in Palma, in Mallorca. And of course, we also have a chip cupboard, which is just basically also our, like, storage cupboard for all our dishes and stuff. So yeah, that's that's what we do for uh, the food storage situations. But, and if you want fruit, then we have fruit nuts. We put up this one in the marina just recently, so. Now we have even more room for fruit and stuff like that. We're leaving the bay. It's getting a little bit stormy and we're leaving an hour early, but that is fine. We'll get there an hour earlier. Um, yeah. <laughs> store let's go do that but got back from being on shore and this is one of the things that we got it's a battery to connect to our 
generator so that we can collect all the extra power that's not being used. And it's got some power sockets on the side. It's cool. It's going to be a good use item, which is a solar panel. So it's kind of like a backup system for us. Backup solar, backup lithium batteries. So if everything goes down, we can just use this. Yeah, and when we get off the boat, we can take it with us because it's great for going camping and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's Friday, and I'm going to put my video out soon. So, this is goodbye for this week, and next week I'll cover why we're in Grand Canaria, what the Ark is. Pretty sure most of you don't know what exactly it is. And... I don't know, just what, what we're going to do for the lead up to the Atlantic Crossing. So if you like this video, then like the video and subscribe and share it with your friends and do all that good stuff because it's amazing. Um, and I'll see you next time.